Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing today? It's now November the 14th, that's Saturday, about 7.30 in the morning here in Manitoba, Canada. And I wanted to start off the morning with some positive thoughts your way with a small little quote by Michael Jordan, which I'm sure you all know who he is. I've missed, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I've failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Pretty powerful quote. And um, yeah, I like to just send you guys really good, positive vibes in the morning to start off our way. Because did you know that the way you start off your morning in the first five, 10 minutes that you wake up, that is how you will have the mentality for the rest of the day. So when I personally get up, I got my little journal, like it's called the five minute journal, daily affirmations just to make sure that I focus on myself mentally right and then I read some quotes and I drink a big glass of water just to make sure my body is going to get that that uh, that refreshment right away and just to get my mindset in the right positive mentality to start the day right I always take a shower every single morning always make my bed always clean up everything in my house there's not a anything laying around here everything is where it's supposed to be Right? And then I eat a little bit, make my coffee. But in this morning, I'm actually going to finish off my beer that I left here from last night that I was drinking for half of a day. So that's going to be kind of my breakfast today. And then I'm ready to start the day with you guys. So it's been a very exciting time. So I, um, I called this out really hard. It was such a good call, guys. Here's me and my video here where it's still three dollars and seventy four cents calling it for three fifty five in the premium group okay let's turn this a little bit in the premium group and then look what ended up happening to uni uni ended up making some some really really good ground here and it actually got to exactly where we wanted it to get the 382 fibonacci structure of the most current wave so if you're starting to see some of the patterns, I highly recommend that you write them down. Write down some of these trades and just look for the patterns that I trade. My pattern is basically looking for a five possible wave up, if I could see it, looking for bearishly diverging RSI, looking for price action that's dictating a possible reversal. And then I consider that my entire wave, whether it's just one small sub wave, or five smaller subwaves in a larger degree. If I see that bearishly diverging RSI, if I see that price action, if I see that MACD that's getting that hesitation, I'm going to enter a short position, and I will usually and always target the 382 Fib region because it has a much higher probability of it hitting the 382 than it does the 0.5 or the 618, right? Because you can say something like, it, every time it hits 382, it hits it 100% of the time, right? You can also say every time it hits 618, it also hits it 100% of the time because you have to pass through 38.2. But every time you pass through 38.2, it does not always guarantee a 61.8 hit or even a 0.5. So I like to take my profit where I know it's almost guaranteed that it will hit there if I can identify a top. And I've been getting really good at it lately. So we're going to start off today with a very quick rapid fire round of um, just the general market for the public. Okay, If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, consider getting my course. I got two left available to sell this month. It goes for 240 American dollars. It is three courses over 40 hours of solid material geared towards beginners. And even if you know a little bit already or a lot, it's still going to help you in the advanced or the intermediate course as well. And the syllabus is very well structured. It's uh, directly approached from an educational perspective with lots of experience. And it's conveyed in a very clear and concise way where it's more of the Philicon crypto teacher talking rather than the, you know, the tactical analyst that you normally see. So jumping right into this two minute rapid fire. Actually, I'm going to wait till the five minute mark just so um, on my timestamp here, just so I can have a better gauge of two minutes rapid fire. So I slept pretty, I'm just going to talk randomly for 15 seconds. So I slept pretty well, but I kept waking in and out of sleep. And I kept dreaming about trading. I had really weird dreams about it. So I started to wake up, and bam, here I am. Bitcoin. Let's start, everybody. So I called 
Bitcoin bearish and the bearish we are. We go to the two day and we see that we're actually at the 618 or sorry, the um, 78.6 Fibonacci retracement region, which is of very importance in my opinion. Because flavor of the year in 2018 was 78.6, okay? And uh, we, we, we that's that's like a major resistance right here where we're at. Because if you take a look at the top of the wicks here, of these particular candles, where that was the big retracement, okay? It was the big retracement from the top of here to here, down there. So this one actually ended up retracing, right? It retraced a major resistance pretty much right at the golden ratio. So you can acknowledge that the first dip there and the first major rally, the first correction, it rallied to exactly where we pretty much are right now. Around the 17k, you can say. Like 17.2 is the highest that we'll ever see it, I think, for a while. Until the next possible wave. But right now, I think it's there's some strong resistance. And this weekly has only got two days to close. I mean, imagine if we close around under $1,600. It'll be pretty bearish. Imagine if we closed around... Like actually not 16, sorry, like lower 15, 750. We're gonna get a candle that's gonna have a tiny body in the middle, and that's gonna be very bearish. Sure, we don't have any signs of any bearish sign um our side yet. 84 on the four day on the daily though, we're starting to see this type of pattern. That's the hesitation pattern that I described in Uni over here on the 30 minute chart where it goes up, 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 hesitation, bam, capitulates. So I see Bitcoin possibly doing the same thing. You see Bitcoin at 12 hour right now and you see the five crossovers. One, two, pretty much three, four. Wow, there's been so many crossovers here at seven already. So I think it's time for us to take a small correction, especially with the, with the daily yesterday closing with a massive doji at the resistance. The 12 hour double doji pretty much just killer bearish signs right now. Next, Ethereum, okay? <clears throat> Ethereum going all the way back. What it was cool about Ethereum from September, okay, after it reached the high, is that we it's one of the coins that actually it broke to the top side and is challenging the two highs right now that we see. Okay. The two highs are very significant in my opinion. Always click on this, this little button here, stay in drawing mode. This way you can click on the arrow, click, 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 click rather than have to click on the arrow and then and then there arrow screen arrow screen just a quick tip for you guys so that resistance is very significant only to be met on the 12 hour chart with a bearishly engulfing candle same symptoms as are as btc but not as extreme in terms of hovering on the positive side we are getting this high that's clearly higher than that one right there but we're getting the bearishly diverging RSI where it just can't keep up anymore. The first tick goes to the downside already. The six hour started crossing over right around there and that's where the capitulation started to happen with the bearishly engulfing candle right there, which cascaded over to a 12 hour bearishly engulfing candle and also an eight hour as well. So right now on the four hour, it had the MACD crossover right around there, cascaded over to the eight, six to the eight, um, the 12 as well. And now we're wondering if the daily is going to end up, look at this daily right there. That's horrible, right? So based on price action, resistance, MACD, RSI, we're certainly bearish on Bitcoin right now, or sorry, on Ethereum right now, okay? So I, uh, next, I only have two seconds left, so on to the next. Okay, Uni was a really solid coin. So the daily right now is finally showing a bearish candle, which is called a hanging man. A hanging man is exactly what you guys think it is. It's basically a dead man hanging. Okay, so that's a dead man hanging candle. Um, four hours don't really tell too much right now. It's not bearishly diverging in any way. Um, the, the three hour is though from here to there, but that's, I don't know about that peak. It's a very difficult wave count to f f honestly count. It's very difficult, this one here. I don't know what the heck it is. I'm, I'm not even trying right now. So the two hour has like, a, it's fighting right now already at the MACD, right? Uni hits exactly what we wanted it to hit here. We figured out the really nice entry simply because of this one right there, okay? Keep in mind in one hour, there are three 20 minute candles in a, in, in, and then there's two 30 minute candles, okay? 
You might need to rewind this because I gotta speak fast. So there's two 30 minute candles and then there's three 20 minute candles in a one hour candle. 50 minutes into that hour, there's only one 30 minute candle that formed, but there's two 20 minute candles that formed. And then there's a 10 minute delay for the next 30 minute candle to form. Therefore, the previous 20 minute, the, sorry, the, the most recent 20 minute candle that formed ends up getting a full candle before the 30 minute one is formed, 10 minutes in, in advance in fact. So this one right there was basically the indicator right here when it rejected uh, like 1.6% in a really ugly shooting star for the past how long here, um, like three, four hours. And then that's where you know the signal was the short. And then we took the profit right around here and the three minute candle was the one that gave it away with that hammer candle, which allowed us to close uh, that one right there. And this one here allowed us to take our profit. So it's an awesome trade. Um, right now for Uni, I'm very unsure of what I'm going to do next, okay? But I'm waiting for a pattern to emerge from here where I'm gonna obviously go, I'm probably gonna go long on it, provided that Bitcoin shows some stability. Next, LTC. Okay, so LTC is interesting. From the high in August. So we look at the high. Okay, it's kind of like Ethereum a little bit, but Ethereum did it better. But you, you take a look at like you take a look at Litecoin and there's no fucking way this is passing. There's just too much resistance. Do you see what I'm talking about? Some regions were support, some regions were resistances, which right now, because we're going up, ends up being a resistance. That's nasty, this particular region that we're at right now. So yeah, we're gonna you know we're gonna meet some resistance exactly where we are right now that's why we capitulated thus far with a five percent drop there at the top it's a really ugly coin to be trading to be honest i'm not going to be touching this coin it is it is not smooth it's not volatile enough to me okay i don't even know why the fuck it's on there that high honestly it should be way lower on my list so it's not a coin that i'm really interested in trading right now i was interested in shorting it yesterday but now it's like nah i'm not really too interested in it there's just nothing appealing about it. It's just, it's got like an ugly freaking pattern. Okay. I don't, you can't even identify the wave counts. Yeah, it's just so sloppy with wicks everywhere. Uncertainty. You know, the RSI is like finally bearish to diverging. It's probably going to take a drop to be quite honest. I want to move on. I don't even like talking about this coin. 20 seconds left. I'll wait just to keep it consistent. Yeah, it's like, such an ugly coin like sometimes it's got surges right that's interesting but lately it's no it hasn't been fun i'd rather trade something like this you know that's smooth than something like that and we're not going to find on litecoin so moving on right away okay so crv next okay crv caught the radar of all of us and um it's decent i'd have to say Okay, in the next segment, at the 15 minute mark in the video, I'm gonna go to coin market cap and look at volume. So here we got a big spike, right, on the two day, huge. That was amazing, actually. That was so nice. So now we're obviously in this particular structure, we're, we're trying to figure it out. Oh, I called the short yesterday, I guess we did actually drop. Damn, that was a big game. So now we're working in this particular structure, we don't know what it is. But if we had to guess it now that that one has actually formed, it would most likely be something like this, okay? It would probably be like, if that's now a one, my mistake, one, two, three, and that's a four, and that's a five maybe, or this is the four, who knows, probably that one truncated, I'm guessing. Then we know for a fact that that's most likely a one, two, three, and there's a four, and there's a five, right? So we're working with this particular wave only. We're trying to see if, if that count is actually right, then this one's obviously gonna break down way more and it's not gonna be impulsive anymore. So now what I do for this coin here, it's actually gonna take a back seat. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna wait to see the retracement, okay? I'm gonna wait to see the retracement and then I'm gonna see if I can long it. And I think a retracement range will probably be in here right the 0.5 seems the, the strongest support but doesn't mean it'll get there so this guy is definitely on my radar but it's not that high up there anymore the ones that i'm waiting around for are down there okay which means that ave will be down there too 
So this will yield a nice opportunity because it has dropped so much already. It, it will have dropped, say, 17% or 22, and we can catch a percentage of that going up, which could be between like 4 to 8, I'm guessing. Hmm. So now, Abe, this one is going to be moved down here as well, like by the CRV ranges. The reason for that is because I'm expecting some sort of pattern to conform. Yeah, and there's not much else to say. It stays exactly the same, right? So I'm not doing anything. I was waiting to short it yesterday, but not, no point of it. So I'm waiting for it. I don't know if it's going to be like that or like that. Like, you never know how this triangle is going to play out. It could be even like that. It could be like that. It could be like that. It could be a descending triangle. Who knows? It may not even form. But the point is, that's what I'm expecting for now. And I'm looking for a long when there's relevant signs of like a candle or price action that's showing stability where it's going to bounce and chances are it will probably be like uh, i'm guessing around here somewhere okay so moving on uh two minutes for the next video i don't want to spend a lot of time on this guy because it's not much to say so here same thing okay yesterday we were looking for a short and that we actually got this is kind of the range on a higher time frame but realistically this one is in the exact same boat as um what coin was it again ave okay so i'm going to move it down here it's an exact same um, position as ave in terms of i'm expecting it to consolidate and make some sort of pattern we don't know exactly what kind of pattern yet again but i'm guessing it's going to be like on the three four hour 55 ema where it's just going to hold right here okay where it's going to hold where that yellow line is if you extrapolate it so this is a coin where i'm just going to wait around for it so it kind of, not a lot of coins actually are making, are like popping out. Not, not at all actually so far. So this is kind of boring because now our ranges are getting smaller, right? We're playing, like before we're working with ranges of 100% plus. Now, 10, 15. So moving on. Sushi, okay. So sushi, I, I was always unsure of it yesterday. Right? But now it looks to be making some sort of bullish flag. So we missed the top, obviously, and we missed the short, obviously. So this one is making some nice ranges, about 15% or so. So now we go out and see if we can make anything of this, okay? Like, that could be, who knows, one, two, three, four, an extended fifth wave of the third subway. That could be possible. One, two, three, four, to five up there. Any bearishly diverging our side? Nope, not on the four. Not on the three. Not on the two. Not on the one not on any time frame it's bearishly diverging at all which means that um this is probably going to be a bullish flag that's going to break to the outside so i'm very interested in it right now okay so we'll see what kind of pattern this forms it needs way more time way more time to form it's too much of a neutral level on the lower time frame so i gotta caution myself so this is still not that interesting to me so wait around again for that one CVC is very interesting, okay? It is so hot, this coin, honestly. Because, um, like, even since noon yesterday, it goes up 50 fucking percent, okay? Just crazy. So on the daily, it's, it, it shot up something like 600%. Oh, my God, 600%. That's just... How am I not catching these sometimes, right? So I don't know what wave this is. But I'm just going to take it from this particular wave and say that this one here got the 618, which did, right? We called that. And then it retraces up a specific amount to at least 382 to the point 0.5. And then it retraces down an amount, okay? Got to back, back up to, um, or sort of got down to 618. Cool. And then it retraces back up to 618. So now the question is, is this going to keep going that way? To the upside or is it going to retrace even a small amount of this because the small amount of that is 20 percent which is huge i was in bed pretty much by that rally i think i would have caught that one though definitely on my list of coins to watch out for i think that it's got tons of potential so i think we're gonna if we're gonna see if we're gonna challenge one of these regions right here okay i want to see hardcore if it hit if it bearishly diverges on around there, I want to trade this on a low time frame today because it's worth the risk and I think I'm skilled enough. So this is definitely, definitely on my 
list right now high up there here's the bearish the diverging right now rsi i uh, like this is such a tiny wave up but it's 20 percent right so i might even short it for like three four percent or whatever right now it is just so hot to me i gotta rush this video but i just realized that you can't short cvc shitty so f really just waiting to see if we're going to break that resistance or capitulate so f i'm really waiting for long btc like i'm waiting for it to drop so i can basically long other coins f if i were to trade it waiting for a drop so i can long it short opportunities too late already cvc i'm waiting for a drop so i can long this or a break past that resistance uni waiting for a long to break out of that flag or for a drop so it seems like today there's no shorting Huh, yesterday was the shorting day. Sushi, same shit. Waiting for a long. Wi-Fi, waiting for it to reach a support region. Just like a down over there, wherever it's going to be. Who knows, could even be there already. Just needs another hit somewhere. Ave, waiting for a long. CRV, waiting for a long. Link, fuck, it's taking forever, this coin. Link, we're pretty much waiting for it to get to this region because it's making that stupid channel for like the past 5,000 years. LTC, it's still shit listed for now. Omize Go, it dropped like what, five? Okay, I'm just going to coin market cap here and the volume just to see if we missed anything today. So Fiat Markets, USDT, I'm a little bit tired now actually. 7% drop for SXP, we should probably get that on our radar today. I forgot that the volume is really starting to pick up here. Actually, is it even picking up, fuck? No, it's not picking up. But, let's look at it. Ugh. What an ugly chart. So nasty. Look at Uni. It goes up since November the 4th. Look at Sushi. Look at Wi-Fi. At least they're all consolidating. Look at CVC. It comes up. Massive drop. Or rise up. Look at Ave. Look at CRV. It's going up. SXP. Ugh. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a music go. But it's better than Omizi Go. Here, let me show you what I mean. Reminds me of that massive rally that goes up and it just does this. Ugh. Ugh. This gross sideways action for the longest time. Tell me how it's any different than SXP right now. I don't see anything different about it. Except this could be a bullish, bullish flag. Maybe. But I'm not going to buy it. Like, it annoys me when people are like, it has the potential. Yeah, so does every coin has the potential for profit at every any given time of the day. And they're like, yeah, you should buy XRP because it may explode on the weekly or shit like that. Or they're like, look at SXP because it may just rally hard. Yeah, it may rally hard. But I'd rather focus on a coin that's already rallying hard in one way or the other. Do you know what I'm saying? So that argument to me is so flawed. And that's what I used to do. I used to sit, on, sit my ass and all my money in a fucking coin and then wait for it to blow up because I thought it was at a low point. And then I'm watching every single day all these other coins that are exploding. And my money is tied up in a shitty coin that I'm thinking is going to go up. But uh, I'm just waiting on this. I'm just there on the sidelines observing every other volatile coin. It's a shitty feeling when you, that happens for a while. And then you're like, hey, why don't I just go to those coins instead? You know what I mean? And that's where you get the profit. This coin here is just nasty, man. It's like there's fucking nothing appealing about it. Everything is in neutral level. It doesn't even have any hint of exploding. Just because it's out of recent Fibonacci range does not mean it's going to blow up. Not at all. It could just stay there forever. I don't see a single sign where it says it's going up other than you're at the golden ratio right here. Okay. 
And we're finding a support here. I don't know about that. Tiny bit. One day, that barely counts for shit. 12 hours ticking down. Daily is ticking down. Four hours ticking down. Three hours, sure. We got a little bit of a higher high there. Or higher low. It's not like it's that far down on the Mac D where it says screams out, fucking explode me. Sure, the three hours got a hammer candle. Oh, great reason to go long. This is sarcasm, by the way. Like, there's no fucking reason. Whoever says XXP, like, take a look at it, should be on my radar. I don't see why the fuck it should be on my radar. I'm just being honest. Like, why the heck should anybody put their money in XXP and wait for it to go up? What? Like, 15%? Maybe? When, when you got a coin like CVC, that does 15%, like, overnight, 20%. Why trade a coin that has a lull, a sideways period with no retracement at all, when there's every other coin above this fucking SXP? I'm getting mad at the people that are just picking really bad coins to day trade, and I see it all the time in my replies. Okay, like I go through a very systematic process with you guys on how to pick coins, and I would love to learn better ways to refine my coin pick, but it comes down to saving a lot of time doing it fast and efficiently, okay, and making sure you're getting all the information that you need to prioritize. And it's just hard for me to answer in the nicest way that those coins that you're picking, like SXP, are shit coins right now, according to technical analysis. You do not want to trade a coin that's as ugly as that right now. It may go up, fucking sure, big whoop did he do if it goes up, you were right. You get a, you get a cookie. But it doesn't mean that you're always going to be right. You may be sitting on a coin forever or for a really long time before it even goes up. Unless it gives me a strong indication of volume, crazy candles, a price action, anything bullishly diverging, then maybe I'll consider going into it. But the one three hour bullishly diverging RSI is fucking not enough at all. And if you're one of the people that's asked me about SXP, that reply was for you. Means they go. This is nasty. Like, there's nothing smooth about it. You don't want to play a coin that has really ugly price action with wicks everywhere. They're unpredictable. Okay? When you get a coin like Uni, like, you know, you go to, a, like, say, a four hour, fuck, that's just gorgeous, man. That's just gorgeous price action. CVC, holy shit. Sushi, beautiful. Wi-Fi, amazing. Right? Omizi Go, you are just fucking ugly. Wi-Fi, the second one, don't care about it anymore. VET, volume's under 10. Oh, gosh. We've been identifying this forever now, VChain. Frustrating day. I'm not taking it out on you guys. Just hope you know. I'm just being real, man. With the whole picking coins thing. And it's also a frustrating day a little bit because there's not a good pick for me. Like, CVC was the best pick, but you can't short that shit. So what the heck am I going to be interested in it for? I mean, like, this one here, it took a dip here of, like, 12%, and then it just shoots right back up 12%. So obviously, we're reaching into this apex region right here, and uh, that's going to be the deciding factor. So VeChain, we're just going to uh, just wait and hang on here. Add a... I don't care about these coins. They're just ugly. Unless it does something drastically different and shows me different price action, then maybe I'll be a little bit interested in it. But for now, since November the 4th, they're not fun coins to be trading. BCH, nope, nope. You can just look at a coin and just glance at it and be like, nope, 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 nope. And I hope that my rationale of explaining it is a, it is a lot. Like, look at Ethereum. Fuck, man, it just goes up. It's got that going in there right now. It's just gorgeous. Look at CVC. Parabolic. Parabolic. Just nice waves that are evenly defined. Just gorgeous. Going to the upside. Gorgeous. Going to the upside. Gorgeous. Going to the upside. So solid, these coins. They just look good. They're tradable. They're, you can identify patterns. But you go to shit like, like ADA, it's just 
ugly like the way it does that fucking consolidation sideways here too look at the wicks look at the wicks and how ugly they are and there it's barely moving it's gone up like 20 percent xrp is like the worst coin to day trade ever uh, like swing when there's opportunity or conferences especially yeah this one here is sideways as well trx it reminds me of ada sideways bch sideways with wicks ew ugly coins eos eight percent still it's nothing that alpha i forgot to talk about alpha this coin's on my radar i forgot to move it up somebody got it on my radar yesterday and now it's on my radar again so i'm looking for bearishly diverging signs for me to short this so alpha is definitely on my hot pick right now okay uh, i think that we're starting to bearishly diverge finally here uh there's the candle there's the one hour so i'm gonna get out of here and start shorting this if i can because it's just stupid this this um fucking price action for this coin right now i'll see you guys later bye